What? You don't have a father? His mother has a look of disapproval on her face, too. That's not good. What? Look, like I said, we're a wealthy family. We're very rich. There's no room for poor people here. We're saying we won't let our son marry a poor girl from a poor family with no father. You almost tricked us into it. His parents abused me with a string of impossible words, and even he started making impossible statements. Oh no, I guess she was no good. My name is Lisa. I'm a 25 year old office worker. Today I'm very nervous because I'm meeting my boyfriend's parents. My boyfriend Ted is four years older than me, and he's 29 years old. We work at the same place and started dating when he asked me out. And after about a year and a half of dating, he proposed to me. And although I thought marriage was a little early for me, from my own past experiences, I thought it would be better to get married and have children as soon as possible. So I decided to accept his proposal. We、we'll、arrive soon. Wait. I'm not ready yet. It's just a pre wedding meeting with my parents. I mean, that's the most nerve wracking part. Well, I'm sure you'd be nervous too when you come to my mother's house. No, I won't, because you don't have a scary father, right? No, but my mom is even scarier. Seriously? I'm kidding. What? You scared me. Now you understand why I'm a little nervous, don't you? We arrived at his parents' house. Wow, it's a great house, isn't it? His parents' house was in a large plot of land, and the house looked beautiful and luxurious. Ah,、uh, right? I'm proud of my parents' house. Everyone is always surprised when they see it for the first time. Then the front door opened and his parents welcomed us. Well, you've come a long way, haven't you? Come on in. His parents smiled and spoke to me kindly, which made me feel a little relieved. We have some sweets for you too. Sorry, they are nothing special. It's a Godiva chocolate. I love them. Here's some tea for you too. Oh wow, these teacups look really expensive. Oh, you have good eye. No wonder you're Ted's fiance. i Each of these teacups cost $2,000. Really? It costs that much? I was a little annoyed by his parents boasting about their wealth. They were kind at first, but it seemed like they were starting to show their true colors. Ted always has said his parents' house was great too, but he was still humble enough to say, My grandfather's generation made all the money and we're just benefiting from it. However, his parents were so proud to be wealthy and they have a sort of superior attitude because of that. His parents live in the house his grandfather left and live from the investment of the assets they inherited. By the way, I heard that you work for the same company as Ted? Yes, I do. Whoa, you got into the prestigious company even though you're a woman? Huh? Did he say even though I'm a woman? If you post that on Twitter, feminists all over the country will explode. You graduated from an excellent university too. Lisa has an ordinary face, but she's good at her job and housework. What? Did you just say I have an ordinary face? Are you casually bad mouthing me? Oh my god, Ted, that's so rude! If your standard is based on me, a former model, then it's understandable that you might be a little picky. But it's not fair to say that she has a normal face in front of her. I see. I'm sorry, Lisa. 
Um, it's okay. I understand that his parents are rude, and they have that kind of personality to begin with, but I didn't think that even my fiance would start to act in this way. Well, maybe he's a little relaxed because he's at his parents' house, and this is how he really is. I began to wonder if it was a good idea for me to marry him. If we get married, I am sure I will have to deal with his parents more often. I wondered if I would be able to put up with the mean things he would say to me each time. Soon afterwards, something happened that exceeded the limits of my patience. By the way, what does your father do for a living, Lisa? My father died in an accident when I was very young, and I was raised at my maternal grandparents' house. My mother still works today, and I want to be like her. So I'm doing my best at my current job. I was in the middle of telling him about my mother when Ted's father interrupted me with a grim look on his face. What? You don't have a father? His mother has a look of disapproval on her face too. That's not good. What? Look, like I said before, we're a wealthy family. We're very rich. There's no room for poor people here. We're saying we won't let our son marry a poor girl from a poor family with no father. You almost tricked us into it. I thought the company Ted works for was a top notch company, but I guess the quality has gone down. His parents abused me with a string of impossible words, and even he started making impossible statements. Oh no, I guess she was no good. I'm almost 30, you know, so I thought I'd take an easy way out. She's good at housework too, so I thought she'd be totally fine as a housekeeper. Oh well, I guess that doesn't make up for her not having a father. Ted? What are you talking about? Didn't you propose to me because you love me? No, no, give me a break. No way. You didn't seem like a big spender, and you do whatever I say, so that's why I chose you as my marriage partner. You should really be grateful to marry into such a wealthy family. No, Ted! I'll find a nice girl for her replacement. <laughs> really? How about I keep Lisa anyway? You're not young anymore. Even if you're wealthy, you may not find anyone good if you wait too long. Okay, I understand. I wanted to try to avoid arranged marriage as much as I could. I've run out of patience. Of course, I would not marry you either. I got up and left his parents' house. I'm not surprised that he didn't even come after me. I really wonder why I wasted my time with such an asshole. And that father and mother, what are those guys really? They insulted my mother without knowing anything about her. I was so frustrated that I found myself going to my parents' house. Hi, Lisa, what's wrong? Mom, listen, I went to my fiance's parents' house today. I told my mother and grandparents all about my day. Oh, there are some nasty people out there, right? Where is the house? Maybe it's someone who rents the land from you, father. When I told my grandfather his name and the location of his parents' house, he said he knew the place. Apparently, it was one of several locations of land my grandfather owned. Then, After more outrageous revelations, I decided to go to his parents' house again. My mother, who also seemed to be angry with the situation, came with me. I rang the doorbell at his parents' house. Oh, you're here again? What on earth is going on? Lisa, how could you show your face after you left like that? If you beg us to marry our son, it's too late now. You see, mom, they're jerks, aren't they? 
They totally are. They're like spoiled social trash who never knew hardship. I beg your pardon? You got some nerve to insult us. You really crossed the line. You have no idea, but you're in a big trouble. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you all to leave this house. What the hell are you talking about? Leave the house? Even a great schooler wouldn't try to threaten someone like that. You people are just so clueless, aren't you? How can we tell you this without any evidence? What do you mean? Let me explain from here. My father was a landowner and owned some land. And he leased this land to your father. In other words, Lisa's boyfriend's grandfather. So we looked into it and found that the rent was three years overdue. Land rent? What's that? I guess you wouldn't have a clue. Your father, who had been paying us for a long time, passed away about three years ago. I guess that means you weren't even told about the existence of land rent. But my father sent you many reminders. I never received any of those, right? Oh, maybe that's what those envelopes that come every month were about? I don't know, I always threw them away. So, you have been receiving all the notifications for the land rent. We can't have any overdue rent, so please get out of here immediately. His parents seem to be completely upset. You can't tell us to leave like this out of the blue. That's right. I can't believe I have to give up this house after all this time. Finally, my in laws died, and the house is mine now. Hey. How dare you talk about my parents like that? I'm sorry, it just slipped out. What are you going to do? I'm sure this land is pretty expensive. Three years worth of land rent must be a lot, right? I'm telling you, even if you pay the rent, you will still have to leave. Oh no. My grandfather said he won't allow it anymore. He's already looking for a new tenant. Oh no! Oh my hard work! If I couldn't get this house, I wouldn't have married such an ugly man. Hey, what do you mean by that? You can argue between you two later. Also, you made fun of my mother earlier, but she's the president of the company. You shouldn't assume that we're poor just because I don't have a father. That's just so lame. And you? A former model? You're just so cocky! And Ted's comment earlier about choosing me as a housekeeper. I'll tell the people at work about that. Otherwise, there might be more victims like me. Stop it! Let's go, Mom. I feel so much better now that I could say everything I wanted to with my mother. He and his parents chose the wrong person to pick a fight with. After that, the land rent was successfully collected and my grandfather found a new tenant. His parents, who were evicted from the house, are going through a nasty divorce and are still fighting over the division of property. Naturally, I broke up with Ted. And since I told people at work about this incident, Ted's female co worker started to give him a cold look, and his boss is not fond of him anymore. He was not good at work to begin with, and his reputation at work is getting worse day by day. There are rumors that he will be transferred to another department soon, and he seems to be suffering because of the situation. He really deserves it. On the other hand, I learned the lesson to focus on what I love to do and not to rush into marriage. So I'm putting all my energy into my work. What I want to do is to have a lot of experience at a top notch company and take over my mother's company. In order to realize my dream, I will continue to focus on the work in front of me every day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video!